The 24-Hour Cure, a breakthrough turned battle for survival. For nine relentless years, Dr. Ava Sinclair had been clawing at the edge of the impossible. Inside the cold confines of a sterile lab, she waded through mountains of failed trials, haunting near misses, and sleepless nights that blurred into days. But tonight, this night, it finally worked. Ava's trembling hands held the vial up to the lab's harsh fluorescent lights. The serum, a blend of biology, quantum nanotech, and borderline madness, swirled with a faint glow, as if it knew it held the cure to the fragility of flesh. 24 hours, she whispered, breath hitching. Complete cellular regeneration. She collapsed into her chair, pulse hammering. Ava's face caught in the dark reflection of the lab window. Sunken eyes. Hollow cheeks. Nine years of sacrifice carved into her skin. But this would be worth it, for humanity, for the world. She didn't see the shadow move in the alley outside. Ava's apartment was no sanctuary. Just another box to house her exhaustion. Four walls, cheap blinds, a fridge full of expired takeout. She kicked off her shoes and collapsed on the couch, the hum of the city pressing through the windows like an unwelcome guest. And then she saw it. The silhouette. Across the narrow alley, in the apartment directly opposite hers, someone stood in the shadows of their window, watching, unmoving. Her heart gave a hard thump against her ribs. Ava shot up, marching to her window with sharp defiance. Really? You're just going to stand there? She muttered, yanking the blinds shut in three aggressive tugs. She swore under her breath and slumped against the wall. Her neighbor. That creep. He'd been lingering like an oil stain for weeks, always there when she got home, always looking. She had bigger problems to focus on. This was paranoia. She needed rest. But across the alley, the watcher never blinked. The next morning, Ava woke to the screech of her phone. It was the lab. Dr. Sinclair, her assistant stammered. Someone, someone broken last night. The data servers have been wiped. They took everything. Ava's stomach dropped, a black hole pulling her inward. What? Her thoughts splintered as she staggered to her feet, half-dressed and frantic. Do we still have the prototypes? The backups? Gone. Ava's fingers turned white around her phone. Nine years. Stolen in hours. But who? The lab had top-grade security. No random thief could pull this off. She froze. Her mind flashed to the silhouette in the window. That night, Ava waited. Her lights were out, but adrenaline kept her wide awake in the shadows of her living room. The serum's only remaining sample sat cold in her fridge, the last thread of her life's work. At 11.47 p.m., a faint creak echoed in the hall outside. Ava's breathing slowed, every nerve on edge. She crept toward the peephole. The hallway was empty. She turned, and her blood turned to ice. The fridge door was ajar. A man stood beside it, bathed in the faint blue light. He was older than she expected, mid-forties, with eyes like shattered glass. Cold. Empty. But familiar, her neighbor. You shouldn't have created it, he said calmly, his voice a rasp. Ava grabbed the closest object, a kitchen knife, and pointed it with shaking hands. Who are you? How did you get in here? The man tilted his head. The question isn't who I am. The question is, who sent me? Her heart thundered in her chest. Sent? Some things were never meant for human hands. He took a step closer. And some people were never meant to survive the breakthrough. Ava lunged. The fight was brief, brutal. Ava's blade caught flesh. Blood spattered her linoleum. The man crumpled, groaning as he clutched his side. Ava didn't wait. She grabbed the serum and ran, down the fire escape, 
into the labyrinth of a sleeping city. She didn't stop running until her lungs burned and her legs screamed. The vial thudded against her palm, still intact. Somewhere in the dark, someone else was watching, hunting. She knew it. Her breakthrough was no longer hers. The 24-hour cure wasn't just a miracle, it was a weapon. And Ava Sinclair was now its most wanted keeper. Ava crouched in an abandoned subway station, cradling the vial against her chest. Shadows loomed, twisting into shapes that didn't belong. She'd started a war she never meant to fight, against enemies she couldn't name. And her neighbor? That man? He wasn't alone. Ava knew one thing, they were coming for her. In 24 hours, the world would know what she'd done, or she'd be dead. There was no middle ground anymore.